بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم جنٹرمن آئی ویلکم یو ٹو لیکچر نمبر ٹوئنٹی سکس آف دا سیریز ویل ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹیک اپ پلے نمبر ٹو دا ٹائٹل آف دا پلے از وزٹ ٹو آ اسمال پلینٹ وچ از ریٹن بائی کورے وائڈل لیٹس ڈسکس نو دا آسپیکٹس وی آر گوئنگ ٹو فوکس in our today's lecture well students as you already know that the portion of plays carries 15 marks according to the scheme of paper out of those 15 marks 10 marks are reserved for the short answers from three plays two to three marks are reserved from uh, for synonyms or vocabulary building and 2 to 3 marks are from the multiple choice questions it can be either true false or the other multiple choice questions either from the text or from the exercise or of the play so the important aspects we are going to discuss today are first of all i would give you the story and the theme then we are going to discuss the word synonyms and this lesson contains many new words for you it is full of vocabulary building then we are going to take up exercise multiple choice questions and true false statements so let's move on to the story first so that you may know what is happening or what is about to happen in the play so gentlemen this slide carries the story in brief and its theme let me tell you that the translation is not required because there is not going to be any question of translation from the plays plays are understood by going through the text itself so here i have given you the story in brief which i'm going to read out for you let's start the story ridicules the very basic human assumption that all strangers are either hostile or enemies this line actually is the entire theme of the play this is what the play has been written for this theme has been dealt with in an unusual literary manner a stranger from an unknown planet comes on earth in a machine which is nothing more than an empty box he lands in Roger Spalding's garden who is a TV broadcaster the entire family along with General Powers who is responsible for the safety and security of the people of America bombarded him with questions of curiosity about his identity and motive to visit the earth despite all his assurances cooperation and courtesy they continued to question his intentions sick with their repeated questions over and over again he bluffed that he was there to take control of the whole world general power tries tried to blow up his flying machine and capture him but to his surprise he could not do so as mr cretton possessed extraordinary supernatural powers he could read the mind of the people he was not impressed with the scientific and technological progress of the american people he was of the view that america american people were just in the initial phase of their development in this way the writer has also ridiculed american claim that they are the most advanced nation in the world in the field of science and technology so there are two themes which have been highlighted by the author the first is uh, the very basic human assumption that all strangers are either hostile or enemies and second it actually undermines american claim that they are the most advanced nation on the face of this earth so these are the two themes which have been highlighted in the play by the writer well students in this slide i have 
copied the first page of the play in which the introduction of the characters taking part in the action of the story has been given and there are two main characters th rather three main characters of the story the others are s only performing their supporting role mr creton who is an alien from an unknown planet who lands in roger spalding's home the second main character is roger spalding roger spalding is a tv broadcaster or an anchor who hosts a tv show a tv program on current affairs on the tv then ellen spalding she is daughter of mr roger spalding mrs spalding she also performs a sporting role she is the wife of mr roger spalding john randolph john randolph is a young boy who is a fiance of alan spalding general power is the third main character he is a major general in the army of in the army in the american army and he is responsible for the safety and security of the american people he also investigates about uh, the alien uh, which is mr creton and about the spaceship in which he has landed on earth then finally there is an aid aid mean uh, uh, subordinate of general powers who come there in roger spalding's home to discuss things with the alien so these are some of the characters taking part in the play i have given you the introduction so that you may know who is who and what is what dear students this is a very very important slide which carries uh, the important vocabulary used in the play and this play may not be very important for its story but it has many new words for you you are advised to please note all these words and their synonyms in your neat english registers the first word is unctuous unctuous as you can see is an adjective its synonymous words are sycophantic oily greasy or flattering next word is vague again an adjective its equivalent words are unclear ambiguous elusive or hazy passively which is also which is an adverb its pseudonymous words are impassively inertly unreceptively or unresponsively fidget is a very very important word which is a verb it means fret worry upset or nervousness conjecture is a noun its equivalent words are guess inference assumption or supposition next word is lunatic lunatic as you can see is an adjective its synonymous words are crazy foolish mad idiotic homestead this must be a new word for you it is a noun its equivalent words are form estate farmhouse or farmstead next word is verily verily is an adverb it means jadedly tiredly resignedly despairingly thake hue andaaz ko kehte exhausted tired cellar is a noun which means basement 
crept underground store or underground room optical is an adjective it means visual ocular pictorial ominously is an adverb ominous is an adjective from this adverb its synonymous words are threateningly worryingly menacingly sinisterly next word is evasively which is which again is an adverb its synonymous words are elusively obliquely deceitfully deceptively next word is blandly which again is an adverb its synonymous words are insipidly boringly unemotionally plainly next word is patronize which is a verb it means support demean debase or humble next word is primitive which is an adjective its equivalent words are aboriginal ancient old or prehistoric next word is hunch which is a noun its synonymous words are feeling instinct intuition and guess well gentlemen this slide carries rest of the important words used in the play the first one is very very important word imposter imposter is a noun its equivalent words are fraud fake deceiver or cheat imposter kehte hain behrupiye ko gad about is a verb urdu mein iske maani hote hain avara gardi karna ghumna phirna bila maqsad idhar udhar its equivalent words are roam stray wander travel range impromptu again is a very very important word it is an adjective urdu mein isko kehte hain bagair इरादे के बगैर मकसद के बगैर तैयार हुए हुए इंग्लिश में इसके कैबलेंट वर्ड्स हैं अनप्रिपेयर्ड अनप्लान्ड एक्सटेम्पोर और स्पॉन्टेनियस नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज स्नार व्हिच इज अ वर्ब ये एक गुस्से की आवाज को कहते हैं इट्स इक्वलेंट वर्ड्स और ग्रोल रोअर ग्रेमिस और स्नियर next word is sordid which is an adjective its synonymous words are disgusting base ignoble wretched well gentlemen these were some of the important words taken from the play and i have already told you that this play is very important for its short answers and vocabulary i let me remind you once more that you are required to note these words and their synonyms in your neat english registers please well gentlemen in this slide we are going to take up the multiple choice questions there are only three statements given on this page uh, the first statement is who is roger spelding i have also told you that who he is in the introduction of the characters a general a soldier a newscaster or a technician he is a newscaster option c is correct john is a merchant farm owner pilot professor he is a farm owner b option is correct statement number 3 Where did the spaceship land? उसका जो खलाई जहाज था वो कहाँ लैंड किया कहाँ उतरा हमारे ऑन द रूफ ऑफ अ बिल्डिंग इन द फील्ड्स ऑन अ हिल इन द रोज गार्डन ऑफ मिसिस पेल्डिंग डी ऑप्शन इज करेक्ट इन द रोज गार्डन बगीचे में मिसिस स्पेल्डिंग के बगीचे में लैंड किया था सो ऑप्शन डी इज करेक्ट प्लीज and circle the correct options 
So this is the last slide of our today's lecture. It carries multiple choice questions and true false statements. Statement number four is Alan listened to the broadcast of her daddy, fiancé, mother or cretin. Zaire broadcaster sirf uska father tha. So he listened to the broadcast of her father. Option A is correct. The visitor was dressed in the fashion of this is very important statement. The visitor was dressed in the fashion of 1960, B 1860, C 1900, D 1850. Option B is correct. He was dressed in the fashion of 1860. Number six, what is the impression of Cretan on seeing the inside of the house? Disgusted, delightful, callous or sorrowful. Option B is correct. Delightful. Number seven, I do hope I do not sound patronizing means not praising, encouraging, discouraging, not appreciating. The correct option is not praising, not praising. Number 8. How many years are required to tell the story of travel? This is also very important statement. 100 years, 200 years, 500 years, 700 years. Option C is correct. 500 years. 500 Number 9. The house of Spalding comes under civil law, criminal law, company law or martial law. Option D is correct. His house comes under military law or martial law. Number 10. General Powers was thinking about his promotion, security of the country, arrest of Cretan, murder of the visitor. Option B is correct. He was thinking of his promotion. Now we move on to the true false statements. Here you have to write the word true if the statement is true and or false if the statement is false. Alan is going to marry John a farm boy. True. Number two. A girl should prefer to marry a hard working and ambitious boy. This is also a true statement. Number three. The pa spaceman looked like a monster. No. Not at all. This is a false statement. Wrong. Incorrect. Untrue. Number four. Cretan cannot read the minds of the people. False. He can. This is a wrong statement, false statement. Number five, Cretan is interested in the study of the civilization of Earth. Yes, true. Number six, there are no instruments in the flying saucer. Yes, absolutely true. There are no instruments in the flying saucer. Number seven, Mrs. Spelding is worried about the rose garden. Yes, true. He is worry she is worried about her rose garden. Number eight. Cretan gives his consent to spend the night. True. This statement is true. This statement is true. Number nine. General Powers thinks that Cretan is a spy. This statement is also true. Number ten. The race of Cretan is violent like the human race. Not at all they're not violent at all so this statement is false well gentlemen that concludes our today's lecture with that i'm signing off goodbye take very good care of yourself allah hafiz